Yeah, well, just making it to our hostel. Uh, the Green Park Hostel. Hi, how are you? And uh, we were praying that it would be good weather. It's, it's still raining, but that should be okay. We're gonna offer it up for special things, that's what I heard. Yeah, this is uh, live from the green causeway. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of uh, obstacles in our way. But that's why we're wearing helmets, because it's just extremely dangerous. So the, the green way, uh, as it's called here in Mayo, Ireland, it was uh, Crow Patrick yesterday, which was really epic, really cold, really rainy. But all the boys did it with a good heart, I think. We were all offering it up for some little thing, which is nice for these things. Uh, the whole thing about offering something up is you do a little penance or a little sacrifice, something that you don't like, and it's for somebody else, someone that you love or someone you're praying for, and you ask the Lord to like give them strength or give them grace for their conversion. And so your pain that you're going through is for them. And uh, we are the last of the Mohicans. Extra oh, right? Dude. Sorry, massive truck passed me out. I'm not gonna let it happen. He's got me. I think he's got me beat. So uh, as, I, as far as I can tell, we're in Newport, I think. We went through Westport. And uh, what's it been like so far? What do you think? Yeah. You would be the experienced biker of the crowd. Uh, yeah, very experienced, yeah. So what's your experience with bikes? I cycle a lot. He cycles, I think, 40k every day, and uh, it's been it's been that today. Doing well. Yeah, I mean, we we've just been biking. It's great. Nice sun. It's I tried like biking, like taking my hands off the handlebars. Oh my gosh. A lot of fun. Taking the hands off the handlebars. It's not the. Uh... Why why can't I see my face? <laughs> <laughs> I think we might be heading off. Um... You guys, how's it been so far? Has it been a good uh, good experience? Ah, uh, it's brilliant, man. Brilliant. What would you say? Ooh, what is that? Sausage roll. That is a sausage roll for all you there in Merck that don't know what that and is. Munch. That is a munch tasty treat here in Ireland, and I think it's what the lads, lads as boys, usually go for. Is that right? It is, yeah. So were you guys in the front of the group or the back of the group? Mexican tortilla, thanks to Brother Red. <laughs> Here, so this, these are chicken wings. I think it's an American mm. invention, and the Irish have taken it up, like a lot of American things. That's very nice. The only thing I'd say an Irish person says you can claim fame to is butter. Yeah, that's true. And maybe the black stuff. And we have good milk. And their milk is also number one on our list. But yeah. we're getting kind of worried about the milk. And the roll, ooh, what's that? Like, can you explain that to an American ooh, audience, what that would be? Lucasade. Lucasade is not Gatorade. I don't know which one would be better. I'd have to see. Can I? Yeah. We're gonna do the test. No, no, no. This one is better. The orange one is nicer. No, orange one is nicer. Orange one's better. No, taste the orange one. The orange one is nicer. Yeah, yeah. The orange one is nicer. Taste that. Yeah. Yeah. The orange one is nicer. Yeah. The orange one is nicer. Yeah. 
And uh, any other comments? Would you say this would be harder than yesterday? Was yesterday hard for you guys? Yeah. yeah. Well, not, no. uh, why not? Yeah. Well, so far we've covered about one quarter of our journey. So pace yourselves, lads. Pace yourselves. So the Pringles might be a good idea, actually. If you if you're thinking about it, a box of Pringles, once you pop, you can't stop. So side out. This is TY 2019. It's a pretty sound group. Uh, it was a great day yesterday. Girl Patrick. Now we're going to knock on bicycle. And in Nock, we're all asking for special favors for Our Lady. Nock's a, an apparition where Our Lady appeared here in Ireland. She didn't say anything. She appeared with St. John, St. Joseph, and the Lamb of God on the altar. It's teaching us about silence, how to be silent before the mystery of the Eucharist. That's what the Lamb of God represents. And Our Lady, it also teaches you to be pure. St. Joseph, St. John, we're both pure because they took Our Lady into their lives. If you have Mary in your life, she's gonna make you pure. So if you're fighting against impurity, ask our Blessed Mother to heal you and also be before the Eucharist in silence. You'll be here.